down I want mm. I wanted to use the the nice mic why do I gotta use you gave me the band's mic, didn't you? Hello? Testing? Good! Okay, we can start. How we doing? Oh, good heavens, I can tell this kind of room is what has an intimacy about it, and that freaks me out. <laughs> Who was here last week? Oh, good. I won't have to recap except for the new people. Last week, I come up here at the beginning of the show. I give you some ideas. I put them in your head to mess with you. And then we go on and we do the show. Last week, I talked a bit about characters. Some of the circus freaks have new characters. Characters we brought into the show. We brought here to other events. And it's been interesting because we learned that that idea of character has become much bigger then, hey, this is just who we are, but it's actually what people are excited about. I mentioned we had some clockwork dolls, and one of the things that I, I play, which is the complete opposite of this stylish, well-dressed, mattered man, is I play a character named Rhino. Rhino's pretty easy to understand. He's just like me at the end of the night. He's had one too many drinks. He moves a little slow. He's kind of plodding, and, well, he's a train wreck. So, yeah, okay, so you totally understand Rhino. Rhino is a children's character that I put together as a joke. And it was amazing because when you put together something at the last minute, you're so unattached to it. You're, you feel so free to make changes to it. So I went out to a children's event. And as people went, well, are you a vegetarian because all rhinos are herbivorous? I said, of course I am. And there was a new thing of character. And this character evolved in the course of like three events. And next thing I knew, I had a character that people kept asking me to play that I didn't know much about which meant I had to play it as often as possible in order to get into its head. This was complicated. It meant I would take any opportunity to play the rhino. Last week, I had an opportunity to go on a photo shoot to uh, play the rhino at a photo shoot. So it was an art project. And so the first part of it, I stood there like this. and so on and so forth. Wasn't a lot of character time. Not at all. But then the photographer had this brilliant idea. He said, well, I want to get you, you know, I want the, the physicality. I want action shots. Let's go to the park. It's the middle of the afternoon on Wednesday. No one will be there. <laughs> I believed him. So we go out to the park. Full, thank you. Fully dressed, fully clowned up. And there's like a dozen kids out there. And this isn't like little kids. This is like 10 to 13, the age where they should hate me. Scary. And I come out there with big rhino ears, a big rhino horn, and a big red nose. Hi, everybody. And there's a moment where I could have gone. I could have said, we're doing an art project. Thank you for your time. We're just going to go over here and take pictures. I mean, that was the option. That was what any sane person might have done. <laughs> Fortunately, that person wasn't wearing the nose at the time. I was in the moment, I was there, I had protection with me, I had people with me to keep me safe if I really screwed this up, and so Rhino went to play. Or as we like to think of it, he went on a little Rhino rampage. Yay! Two hours of madness later, there's still photos being processed, but I had an amazing moment where these kids could have, I mean, they could have do to me what you guys do to me every week, throw me cleanly under a bus and leave me there. <laughs> I could do it by myself, that's true. But instead, these kids bought into what was in front of them. And there's this photo, and it, a couple of people have seen it on the net. Shout if you've seen the photo from the end of... Okay, so some of you have seen it. There's a photo of me in my full rhino costume, surrounded by five kids, all of us holding little vintage teacups with our pinkies out, making faces like this. <laughs> like you do... Classy. Like you do if you're a rhino. I think this may be my favorite moment in clowning so far because... These are the kids that should have beat me up on the playground when I was a kid. These are the kids who should absolutely hate me. And these are the kids who grow up to be us, who buy in 100% to whatever madness is put before them. I want to thank you for being those kids and growing up into these adults. And welcome to the open stage.